Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. Well today, as you can see, I just I washed my hair and I wanted to film this video. Now, it's a Sunday night, uh, 20 minutes past 8 at night and I really wanted to do this video for a couple of months but I always forget and I don't know why, maybe because I was tired at Sundays but I really want to do this video right now and usually I have the same skincare routine every day except Sundays. Sundays are my my days where I really spoil my skin. I really do something extra and every Sunday I do a little bit extra, extra hair mask, extra face mask or something because Sundays are my lazy days usually and I really do and I really put time to take care of my skin. So I really want to show you my Sunday skincare routine and this is what happens all every Sunday every Sunday. So if you're interested to see what I'm doing with my skin every Sunday, then please keep on watching. Okay, the first thing I do, I if I wear makeup during Sunday, sometimes I don't. I don't usually go outside Sundays, but if I do, I do have makeup or if I feel, then I do have makeup. But first of all, I remove my makeup, of course, and I take a very long bath. When I do my bath, I do hair mask and usually I do face mask. Not usually, I always do face mask. For Right now I'm using this Oriflame Pure Skin Blackhead Clear Mask that I really like. I do put this on while I'm in my bath and leave it for maybe 10 minutes and then I rinse it. I do like this mask and um, if I don't have, I take this one I take another. another another sort of face mask but that is what I always do every Sunday and then pluck my eyebrows always do that every day especially every Sunday and I do this every day but every Sunday I do take extra time to really remove everything but every morning there is a new hair that's over there and I do need to pluck it so this is what I do Make sure that everything is gone. Wipe it off on my napkin. This is a little bit painful, so I do like to do this first before I go with the rest of my skin and I usually do this at night uh, because in the morning I don't like my skin around my eyebrows to be red so when I do use my tweezers I go in with this guy to form my eyebrows a little bit so let's go in with this one don't need to change the battery never reminded, never taken, whatever you told me i know what i could be I then go and shave my face. Yes, I do. With this guy. I already have a video. I'll review this real one and the uh, fake one. So I go and really take everything off.
what I like to do is to actually go and clean my face and I do then go in with this one just just to clean it a little bit extra take with whoa yeah well I spilled a little bit uh -huh. make my face clean and nice and ready for the next step now this is something that I started using for maybe two three weeks ago and uh, that wasn't in my routine before but it's right now in my skincare routine and or face care routine but I do this only five days a week every Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I don't do it on Monday and Tuesday it's because it's tough yeah I don't know Monday and Tuesdays are kind of stressful days for me so I avoid to give me some more some extra things to do uh, and I'm talking about my new face that I really like so I go in and use this and I'm going to use this like I always do and I'm going to kind of uh, make this a little bit faster for you guys but I go first with my neck take this gel this is gel primer um, and I like to use this one I know there probably are much cheaper uh, products to use but I can't get them here and I also like to know what I'm using so put this on and then I go in
So what I do after I finish this one is that I massage this gel into my skin, leave it to dry before we clean the face again. Now, if you're interested to know more about this product, new face and how I use it and why I use it and if it works, then subscribe, let me know down below. I will update you in a month or two because I really want to give this a chance to work. I just started using it for two, three weeks ago. So now that the gel has been on my face for a couple of minutes, I'm going to clean my face and not clean, but I'm going to use a face toner. And this is the Pure Skin or Flame Refreshing Face Toner that I use. I really like this one. But I don't use, this is retinol, I don't use it at night, I use it in the morning because at night I have a face serum that I like to use with retinol. And then I don't want to overdo it. Now I take the toner, refresh my skin a little bit. I do everything very gently, so I don't rub very hard on my face on my skin i do have a breakout or two ate a little bit of a candy these days and then i like to do in with this um, eye serum that i like this is an instant rip rip tie eye serum this is eye serum from bfa that i really like I like this brand it's cruelty free it's vegan it's for eye wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness. I put this a little bit on my finger. And I dab. And while I let this sink into my skin, under my eyes, I then go in with the face serum. Also from B Effect, this is Granactive Retinol. This is for wrinkles, age spotting, spots, redness. Take some on my hand, like this, and then press it down to my neck too. This dries very fast. Now I usually let this maybe for a minute on my skin just to sink in so I can go in with moisturizer. But then after a minute or two I do use this Midnight Recovery Eye Cream that I've been liking a lot. And it's YouTube made me buy. Take a small amount here on my finger. So then I like to go in with moisturizer. Now I use different moisturizer at night. Right now I'm trying to finish this Nip and Fab Beasting Fix Cream Deluxe that I used in the morning, daytime before, but it's a little bit heavy right now. So I do like to use it at night. And I don't have a lef lot left, so I do change my moisturizer. Take some on my face. Press it into the skin and on my neck, of course. The new face made my skin firmer. I can feel it. I can feel the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'm going. I did take pictures before, and I'll do it after. But I feel like my skin is firmer, and I like the texture of my skin right now. So then. I do like to go in with this. This is Biogeo Be Well Organic 
plus cold pressed 100% castor oil. Now I do use this on my in my hair, but also for my eyelashes and for my eyebrows. Just started using a couple of days ago. Now I did use this a long time ago, another castor oil, but I was too lazy. But right now I'm using it again. So what I do like to do is that I like to press a little bit on my hand like this. And then I go in with a clean, I don't know what this one calls, like mascara wand, and apply this to my lashes. I do use this every night. Then I go in my eyebrows. Then what I like to do is to take my finger and massage so then I do have a last thing that I like to do is for my skin is take a lip balm. Now I have different right different right now I'm using the this glam glow that I want to finish. And apply that this to my lips. And then I'm done. I of course go in with a hand cream or um, leave-in conditioner for my hair, but that I'm going to do off camera because it's not my skin routine. And um, but I do you do it every Sunday. And of course, I do apply hand cream every night. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was everything. Uh, let me know down below what's your Sunday night skincare routine. I would love to know. Do you have um, a product that, I, that you can't live without? I don't usually have products that I really can't live without. I change my products all the time, depending on season and my skin, how it feels. Right now I like the products I'm using. I really love VFX products a lot. Uh, they are not expensive. They're cruelty free, vegan. And uh, yeah, that was everything guys. I hope you like this video. Let me know down below what you think about it. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.